Technology in our homes continues to evolve and makes it easier for us to control more from our phones and our tablets. Yeah, it does. It also makes our homes bigger targets for hackers as well. In tonight's Consumer File, look at things that you can do to protect your home. Phone in hand, Natasha Goodley can control nearly everything in her home. Super convenient. Bedroom lights, thermostat, door locks, all of it hooked to the internet. So whether I'm home or I'm here, I can turn the lights on, I can monitor my home. And she's not alone. It's called the Internet of Things, where anything with an on and off switch can potentially be connected online. A simple stroll through home furnishing stores proves the point here. You'll find internet-capable appliances like this refrigerator. It has cameras to show you what is inside when you're not at home. And you can go online on the fridge. This washer-dryer connects to cyberspace as well. And, of course, smart TVs, which that recent WikiLeaks document dump claims can be easily hacked. They're a step ahead of the security apparatus. Mitt Patel of Mitt Computer says that there are ways to protect yourself. First off here, make sure that you click on those security updates, whether they're for your phone or your fridge. They could be designed to fix a security flaw. Also, think about hiring a professional to set up a home firewall or security barrier. You can have personal firewalls, um, maybe a corporate level or, or enterprise level security may be the norm for individuals because so much... So much uh, of your uh, devices are going to be connected to the Internet. Natasha tries to stay on guard, but knows hackers could strike anywhere. A little creepy. Patel also suggests to have the latest security software protecting all the devices in your home connected to the Internet. And again, that includes the washer and dryer. Dini?